Certified Central at DVUs.com is your gateway to all factory certified pre-owned vehicles at Drivers Village. Shop Certified Central at DVUs.com. 31 years ago tonight, Dr. David Hungerin was paged to the ER at Manhattan's Roosevelt Hospital. The third year surgery resident didn't get much information, just that a man with gunshot wounds had been brought in by police car. You know, the nurses, everyone's cutting off clothes, putting IVs and putting tubes in his uh, lungs, and I'm opening his chest. Moments later, Hungerin literally held the man's heart in his hands, trying to keep him alive. His heart was intact. He did not get shot in the heart. Uh, I was giving uh, cardiac massage. Hauren still didn't know who his patient was, but as they waited to get any signs of life back, a nurse realized something. And that during this time, one of the nurses said, gee, that, that looks like John Lennon. And I said, no, it's not John Lennon. Even after seeing Lennon's wallet, Hauren was skeptical, but another doctor coming in confirmed it. The man they were working on was one of the most famous people in the world. So he came back in around this time uh, from the outside into the room and said, that is John Lennon. And <laughs> that's when it became a little surreal. Uh, it was just, you know, uh, what was a John Doe gunshot wound, which we seen you know, a moderate, a fair amount at, at the hospital, became something very, you know, very special. But Horan and the ER team worked on Lennon for about 45 minutes, but the four gunshot wounds Lennon received caused a massive loss of blood and he was pronounced dead. And while Dr. Holler didn't know his patient was John Lennon initially, he says that may have helped keep everyone in the emergency room calm. But it was, but it was something that you know you do for anybody. It was you know, and the fact that we didn't know who it was, and that person, I'm glad I didn't know who it was because it might have just been non-functional. Holler is now a surgeon at Upstate Hospital at Community General in Syracuse, and says many of his friends never knew he was the primary physician in the Roosevelt ER with Lennon but it affected him greatly. Uh, you know, there are a lot of people I saw in the ER in those five years of residency at, uh, in, at Roosevelt, and, you know, I don't remember most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one I'll never forget. Howard was a Beatles fan and says he still wonders what John Lennon would have done next if he hadn't been shot. Reporting from Syracuse, I'm Alex Dunbar.